Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to OTA Mailbag. If you have a question, go ahead and drop it in the link below so I can go ahead and support you. Let's get to one right now. All right, cool. So today's question comes from Dustin. Um, Dustin asks, <clears throat> I'm trying to bulk, but as I'm bulking, I want to maintain my athleticism. What are your suggestions as far as doing this? And I figured I'd answer this because I went through this. Now there's two things to consider. Now if you're trying to gain weight as an athlete and you want to maintain your athleticism, right? Like you want to maintain your explosiveness, all your speed, there's two things to consider. There's two ways to do it. One, if you're on a time frame, you could jump up your bulk really quick, which you'll gain more fat. You know, you won't probably, uh, if you do it a, a very fast process of doing that, like say you wanted to gain 20 pounds and you're a hard gainer, um, you'd have to eat your face off. Basically say you're going from 200 to like 220 or 240, you would have to consume a large amount of calories. And to be honest with you, um, you would your athleticism would suffer through that. But then once you got to that ideal weight, you would be you would have a lot more time to be running around and moving around at the, at 220 pounds than you would at you know as you go through that process. If you have all the time in the world, you know so let's say two three years or you know at the end of three years you want to be at 220, I would highly suggest moving up slowly and continuing to practice. But you know you're kind of it's kind of a vague question. Um, but to answer the best way that I did it, um, the, I shouldn't say the best way, um, the way that I did it because I had to prepare for the NFL Combine and I had to maintain my explosiveness and my speed. So what I did was certain movements in my athleticism when I was doing power and speed, not my technique drills because as I was doing my technique drills, obviously I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to inhibit those technique, but during my regular drills, I actually wore something like a weighted vest. I would never really, a lot of times I wouldn't recommend this, but let's say somebody was trying like this, be, at, the, at this season, you know, they have four or five months to get to add 20 pounds, I would say, I would start suggesting wearing like a five or 10 pound weighted vest, nothing heavy, nothing crazy whatsoever, and start moving around athletically in it. So as you gain each five pounds, you're already adjusting to that. When you do your sport specific work and your real technique work, take it off and make sure that you're moving fluidly in your body. I'd also suggest that you really ramp up the recovery and you really ramp up the amount of time that you spend uh, on your flexibility. So a lot of the stuff that you do, you know, for your structure as far as make, maintaining um, flexibility within your hips, your shoulders, things of that nature, make sure that you ver you're, you're spending almost double the amount of time on that and your recovery. Um, and then, yeah, if you need to supplement it with a weighted vest, just so you're constantly feeling what it's like to have a, a little bit more weight and support that little bit of extra weight while you're running around, that to me is how I did it and I was able to go about you know, 30 pounds within like, you know, three, four months span and uh, maintain that athleticism. Now, don't get me wrong, you're gonna lose some when you get there. Unless you get to about 220, 240, whatever it is that you wanna bulk up to, and you're moving around that for the next year and a half, then that's, you'll, you'll feel that you get that athleticism back as your strength grows. Remember, you have to continue to build up that absolute strength. But from a pure fluidity standpoint, you know, of your hips and you as an athlete, just make sure that you're adding a little bit of weight as far as the weight of vest, stay flexible, and keep your recovery on point. You should be good. I hope that helps. I just want to offer it to you because that's from my experience alone. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all your questions. For me to answer them though, I need you to go ahead and click the link down below in the description, fill out the form, and they'll be directly sent to me so I can go ahead and make a video about them. Talk soon.